Hi, today I'm going to review the Ultra One 2.5. Now I'm I'm normally a trail runner and I'm kind of an ultra Lone Peak guy. As a matter of fact, I did a, a review of the uh, Lone Peak Neo Shell and that's a video on my channel if you want to check that out. Um, but um, but I had an opportunity where I needed a road shoe and uh, I'll tell you a quick little story about that. So um, a friend of mine uh, this summer recreated uh, the women's Olympic trial race in Olympia. It's called the Trials Legathon Marathon. So uh, back in 1984, uh, the city of Olympia was the host to the first women's Olympic trials marathon. And Back then, uh, we all watched it. Uh, we ran the course. Uh, uh, we have run the course before, and Joan Benoit ended up winning the trials, and of course went on to win the Olympic marathon after that. Well, this this summer, a friend of mine uh, resurrected the course and uh, was putting that on, so I had to run it. So that meant I needed some. Uh, some road shoes. So I looked around and uh, uh, grabbed these uh, 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 Ultra Ones. And uh, I tell you, I was I was actually planning on spending 90 days running strictly on the roads to prepare for this. And I, I got to tell you, I can't be any happier than my decision. Uh, first, first of all, uh, size-wise, these fit the uh, same size as my Lone Peak, so uh, that transition worked out really great. Of course, with all Lone Peaks, uh, these have the same wide toe box, uh, the zero drop. Uh, the difference with these compared to what I was used to is these only weigh 6.3 ounces, and they wear just like a slipper. A matter of fact, a friend of mine owns a couple pairs that he just wears around town all day. Um, so you put these on, they just they just feel great. Uh, they've got a, a little cushioning here. Uh, so for putting in those long road miles preparing for the marathon was just a joy. Uh, just really love these. He, he, even though they got this little crooked lacing system, um, but uh, they they worked out really well, so so I did all my training exclusively on these shoes on the roads for 90 days and had a successful marathon, won my age group. Um, uh, however, I I I had a, a 50 mile mountain ultra run two weeks after the marathon, uh, the Crystal Mountain 50 miler. Now this is a beautiful single track up in the mountains, nine, a little over 9,000 feet of elevation gain. Um, I, I was just so used to wearing these that I decided what the heck, I'll go ahead and wear these uh, for the ultra. And, and that, they, they work just like a charm. Um, the trails, uh, granted the trails were were dry and good condition because the uh, this isn't really a trail tread. As a matter of fact, uh, even on on the roads, you, you tend to pick up a rock or two uh, with with this design. But um, they they work fantastic uh, for my uh, for my fifty miler and uh, managed to get second in my age group on that one uh, wearing these slipper-like road shoes. So, uh, uh, can't say enough for these. These, this pair right here, uh, I have over 500 miles on them. Uh, they're still uh, my go-to shoe uh, for trails, uh, for the trails in town, and for my road running right now. Uh, you need to check them out. These are, these are just super shoes for either running the roads or wearing around the house. So check them out.